What's up everybody? Welcome to the video. My name is Keith. Today's video, we're looking at this Bamboo A1 and the awesome mods that you can do with it. So these are some of the mods that I've done with my printer. So there's a different variety of different things that you can do with it. These are what I've done. So we'll have a look, see if they are must have mods or not so good. Some of them weren't as good. So I've done alternatives, but we'll jump in the video and we'll have a look. First things first, anyone who has a AMS needs a poop bucket. So this is the one that I printed for this. Um, at the time I had the printer in the corner, so I needed a small thin poop bucket to go at the side. That was perfectly modeled around that, so that was quite good. On the A1 Mini, I have this larger one, which I do prefer. And now I've sort of moved things around, I'm gonna print off a bigger one, but this is a really good one. What I might do with this is extend it to the end of the bed here, so you can have all of that, and maybe it's a bit wider as well. But as it stands, this is a really good compact one that you can print off and it collects all the poop. And like I said, it fits in nice with the printer. So if I was to have it against this wall here, it would fit in nice where the printer was. So that was the thumbs up. And with a poop bucket, I also have a poop deflector. Now, the one which came with this wasn't that good. So it was a bit flimsy for me and it was just sort of, wasn't really doing much at all. I did print off one of these, which is I have on my A1 Mini. However, for some reason, when it was printing off on the A1, it sort of seemed to get stuck inside of the little square. I don't know if the, the poop was larger than the A1 Mini. I'm not too sure. So anyway, I looked up and found this one here. So this just sort of clips on. So that's it there. And it's got these little ridges, so it stops the, the poop from sticking to it when it comes off and it's hot. I do still sometimes have issues with it sticking, but it's a case of just sort of brushing it off and it'll come off and that's it. Up next, we have this uh, confused cat meme. So if you saw my other video with the A1 Mini, you'll see I had one on there and I had to get one for the A1 as well. So when you're using this, when the, uh, the filament's coming through, the little spindle spins around so it looks like the cat's confused and it's sort of, it's doing that. It's a nice little fun addition onto your 3D printer. The other thing which was similar to the A1 Mini is this little fan on the side here. So if you can see, that's that one on there. I've got that one on there. Went for spades on this one as well. So yeah, so that's the front section bit. Have the little personalized fan cover and the personalized front. Another mod taken from the A1 Mini is this PTFE and cable holder. So this clips into place and holds the PTFE cables and your main cable as well. So that keeps it all secure. And like I said, I had that on the A1 Mini. So I've had to do it on this. So this sort of it keeps this steady. So when the cable's moving, it doesn't bend over because I've seen so many posts about people having these break on them. So this holder just strengthens it and makes it so much better and easier. This is a helpful little mod. This is a cable guide for the A1. So on the A1 Mini, you have the cable here. And there's nothing to clip onto. Whereas on here at the bottom, there's a little section of clips. So you can print this clip. This holds the braided cable in place. So when it's going up and down, it'll keep that there. But without the cable, this sort of comes out. So it'll come out to here like so. And that was sort of leaning over the side. So with having this, it holds it in place really, really nice. Another mod is this bit here. So this is just a little clip which clips on and this is for the, the filament cutter. Now this basically doesn't do much other than this was a little open gap. So you print this off and that covers the gap just so it looks a bit more aesthetically pleasing, let's say. This is another mod which is related to the cables and wires. So this is a little cable holder which goes on this bit here. So when you are having your cable across, this just holds it slightly further up rather than bending over more, it keeps it a bit more tight. And the same on this one, on the A1 Mini, I printed that off just to hold it a bit higher up because sometimes if it's reaching over, if it's up or down, it'll bend and we don't want any issues with the wire bending off and snapping off and stuff like that. So this was really, really handy just to, to put on there and help secure that. Another mod, which I have done on this, the same as I have done on the Mini, is the camera. So the original camera is in this bit here and it just points down so you can't really see that much. However, the same as the A1 Mini, you can make the camera expand out to the side 
So it brings it further over so you can see more of the bed. Rather than seeing here, you sort of see about here and that helps greatly. And you can also sort of move this up and down so you can get to the correct angle that you want with the printer. And it's so much better when you're trying to monitor your prints so you can actually see your prints in full. So it comes with this little bit to cover where the camera was. Also comes with a base plate here and the camera connection sort of cover and also the back cover for it. So you can print that in any color you want. I'll print a white to go with the printer, but that's so much better and so much easier when using the camera. For me, when I was setting up this area, this A1 printer was originally over here and I had the AMS on here and that's all I could fit on the table. The A1 mini printer was over there out the way, but I wanted them both together. The only way I could think of doing that is with the AMS to raise it up. I've seen some things where you can put it on the walls, put it on a scatter board, that sort of thing, but I wanted it off the wall so I can have it as just one piece. Now the thing that I saw, which is the, the Bamboo official A1 AMS mount for the top, however, some people were reporting issues and things like that. There's actually a modified version which I've got in the collection and this is with a tilt. So it's a lot easier and better apparently. I haven't tried the original Bamboo one but this one's fantastic so I have to say it's good. So basically my AMS is now attached to the top of the A1. It's got all of the cables coming down into here and it's super easy now to get access to the filaments to change them and it frees up space so now i can get both printers on that one desk rather than just having the the ams and the a1 on there and that's it it's really easy to put together there's instructions in the printing guide as well all you need is some extra screws screw them in and that's basically it i think this is probably one of the best mods that i've done with my a1 in terms of the ams to get that up off the ground put together as one big thing so it takes up less space for the 3d printer so i can get them both next to each other and then obviously if i had another a1 instead of the a1 mini i could do the same with that and i would have two 3d printers with two ams's so i could have multicolored prints and it takes up so much less space one quick mod before I finish, and it's this LED light. Now you can print this, I bought this from eBay, but you have a little switch here. So you can turn that switch off. And that is the, the little LED light there. And once again, I can turn that on and that comes on. So this is extremely helpful, especially when you don't have any of the lights on in the room, you can still view your prints from the camera and see them rather than having to uh, turn on lights and stuff like that. You can just have this left on. It doesn't take up much energy at all, and it's really good. You can print it, but I wanted to include that. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please let me know in the comments below. And if there's any other videos that you want covering on the A1, the A1 Mini, anything else to print off, then let me know as well, and I'll do those videos. But until next time, see ya.